Hello friends and welcome to this tutorial on WX Maxima. I have made this video because there is a lot of material on how to do mathematical animation using WX Maxima. But so far I did not find any YouTube resource on doing it. This is the first YouTube resource I can proudly claim. Well, I should be that this is the first YouTube resource which shows how to animate using WX Maxima. So without any delay, let's go for this. Now, why do we require animation sometimes? Sometimes we want to see that how does a curve change or how do how does the visualization of a curve change with certain parameters? Now I will demonstrate using this a very using a very simple example, but a lot more complicated examples could be taken, a lot more uh, complicated mathematical equations can be taken and it can be demonstrated. So let's go ahead. Now let's create a family of curves by using the command make list where x is the variable and d is the parameter and so d has a variation where the parameter d has a variation between 0 to 1 with steps of 0 0.1 and therefore we get a family of curves now let's do it plot 2d let's plot it y and the values of x from 0 to 1 And there, as we can see, we have got the entire family of curves from the powers of 0 0.1 to 1. And these are the family of curves and the parameter here was D. Now, what if we wish to animate this for better understanding sometimes? So for that, there is something known as slider. We use it the following way with slider and we write C instead of D I would like to use C this time but I could as well use D I'll explain this. This is C. It makes a list of C. So this is a function C. This is the value of C. Value of C varies from 0 to 1 to with a step size of 0 0.1. So this makes a list like this is the function. This is the parameter and this is the variation in the parameter 0 to 1 to 0 0.1. Now in slider we need to write explicit to plot it x the whole race to c where the variation of x is from 0 to 1 now all you have to do is click on the curve and there as you can see the animation has started and this is the slider which progresses with the animation. If you wish to stop it, click once again on it. Move the slider to whichever point you want to see the animation frame. And there we can have a look. To get a better judgment of which curve it is, we can write P is equal to concat. And we can write the power of the curve. So it should be in quotes, power of the curve is equal to and comma and C. That is the variable. And let's execute this once again. I forgot a comma here. 
execute it once again, and there we are. Now, as we can see, the variation has started. Okay, let's click it once again to start the variations, to start the animation, and there we can see the animation has started. Now let's stop the animation, and let's take key, Control X, and put it here, Control V. There it is, and remove this. Execute it. Now, as we can see, the power has come as the label, and there we are. So this was all about using the powerful animation tool in WX Maxima. No doubt this is a simple example. More complicated curves and more complicated animations can be done. Please subscribe and like my video. Please subscribe my channel. And do put in your comments any requests that you have so that we can make a very powerful community of learning and enjoying the use of WX Maxima. I am an engineer. I have found WX Maxima to be very useful in visualizations. And I expect all engineers to use WX Maxima to the fullest. Have a great day. Bye.